Now that you have the basics of navigating, selecting and transforming objects, let's take a look at how to create and delete objects from the scene. For that, we can start with a standard Blender scene. And we can take advantage that this scene comes with three objects, a cube, a light and a camera, and see how to delete the objects. Deleting an object in Blender is as simple as deleting an object in any other software. Just select it and hit the delete key. But there is another shortcut that also may be interesting to know, not because you will necessarily use it, but because you may bump into it unintentionally and it's interesting that you understand what's happening. If I select another object and hit the X key on the keyboard, Blender also deletes the object. But when we use the X key, instead of deleting the object directly, it opens this window asking if you really want to delete the object. And if we hit delete, the object is deleted normally. And finally, Another way to delete objects from the scene is to right-click the object name here in the outliner and click Delete. Now let's take a look at how we can create new objects in Blender. To create objects, we will access the Add menu, which we'll find here at the top of the 3D view. In this menu, we will find several submenus divided by categories. Within each of these submenus, we will find all the objects that are available for each category. In the Mesh submenu, we will find all the geometries that can be created. In the Light submenu, we will see all the kinds of lights that can be created, and so on. Besides being able to access the creation menu through the top of the 3D view, we can also use the Shift A shortcut. With the cursor over the 3D view, we can press the Shift A shortcut to display the object creation menu in this floating format. In this lesson, we will focus on how to create geometries, and for that, we will use the Mesh submenu. As you can see, there are several options of primitive geometries that can be created. If we click on cube, for example, we will see that a cube will be created in the middle of the 3D view. In fact, the object is not necessarily created in the middle of the 3D view. It is created wherever the 3D cursor of the scene is. The 3D cursor is this 3-axis icon with this dashed circle. When we create a new object, it is created where this icon is. And to reposition the 3D cursor, just hold the Shift key and right-click anywhere in the 3D view. So, if I hold Shift and right-click to position the cursor here, for example, Open the Creation menu with the Shift A shortcut and click Mesh Cube. We will see that the new cube will be created in this new position. And if you want the 3D cursor to return to the center of the scene, just use the Shift C shortcut. Now, I will use the Shift and right mouse click to position the 3D cursor in a free place of the 3D view. And I will use the Shift A shortcut and click Mesh UV Sphere. And now, I will talk about an important aspect of Blender commands. Several Blender commands have properties that can be edited, and some of these properties can only be edited immediately after we perform the command in question. 
When we create an object, for example, we can edit some initial properties of that object. And these properties can be found in this panel down here, which we can open if we click on it. In the case of object creation, right after we create a certain object, we can edit some initial properties of it here in this panel. These properties will vary from object to object. In the case of the sphere, for example, we can edit the number of segments, which corresponds to the vertical edges of the object, the number of rings, which corresponds to the horizontal edges, and the radius, which corresponds to the size. But be aware of the following. We can only edit these parameters immediately after the creation of the object. If we perform any other command, these properties disappear, and the panel displays the properties of the last command that was given. So, if I activate the Rotate tool and click and rotate the sphere, we will see that this panel will no longer display the initial properties of the sphere and will now display the properties of the rotation we just made. And these are the basic concepts of object creation. What I recommend you do now is position the 3D cursor on different parts of the 3D view and create at least one of each of these mesh menu initial geometries and explore the initial properties of each one a bit. And in the next lesson, we will meet the edit mode of Blender, so we can see how we can model our own objects from these basic geometries.